Hey guys, it's Aaron the Ho from Mobile Reviews 8.C and today we're going to do the review of the CDO Tetra. This is a two-part, very minimalistic case. The iPhone feels quite solid in the Tetra and unlike other pure metal bumpers, it doesn't feel as rigid, which might not be a good thing. Minimalism of the case is the greatest strength, but accessing your iPhone is a little subpar when considered to other cases. The CDO Tetra is worth taking a look at if you're looking for something that doesn't really get in the way. Based on our time with the case, we've given it a score of 4.1 A's out of 5. That puts it at a slightly higher than average score, but there is a caveat to the score when compared to other pure metal bumpers like the Draco design in the uh, Armand case. If you'd rather read the rest of this review, find it on our website. If you want to see reviews of other CDO cases, you can find them on our comparison tool. Real usage. Real reviews. Mobile reviews, a dot ca. Now at Mobile Reviews A.C, we base our reviews on actual usage. So with these slim, minimalistic cases, well, all we do is just stare at it intently, trying to figure out what's wrong with them. But on a more serious note, I've had this case actually for seven months now, and I've put it on and off across two different iPhones. My wife's used it for a while. So we've definitely put in some mileage on this Tetra case, and it does show a little bit, and I'll elaborate on that in a bit. In terms of design, the Tetra comes in two pieces, with the inside piece being made from TPU and the other shell being made from CNC. CNC aluminum. This is one of the lightest cases that I've reviewed, as you'll barely notice it on your iPhone. This case does feel a little thinner when compared to other bumpers, as it doesn't really have an excessive edge to the case. In terms of build quality, out of the box, the bumper feels quite solid, but over time it does feel a little looser, especially after moving it on and off of so many different iPhones over half a dozen installs. So if you're a person who's looking to use this case as kind of as a, you know, in between cases or you've got a really tough case for tough situations and a waterproof case for water situations this might not be the best slim case for you the edges with a bit of give might be a problem for dust and debris um, all in all the tetra does fit together fairly well and will allow you to use pretty much any non-edge covering screen protector installation of the case is fairly simple as all you have to do is fit the iPhone and TPU frame and then snap the aluminum bumper together I've gone and installed it a couple of times incorrectly as I wasn't terribly aware which side the case matches with the iPhone so you end up having volume buttons that do absolutely nothing in terms of protection, the Tetra does have multiple layers, which other aluminum bumpers don't. And despite all this protection talk on their website, the Tetra isn't drop rated. The protection on this case is quite a bit different than the Atuli Atmos X4, which we had just previously reviewed. Now at the beginning of the video, I did mention there was a caveat to the score when compared to the other aluminum bumpers, is that this isn't drop rated. The other aluminum ones aren't either, but they're made from pure aluminum. It's literally like a stick of aluminum. So bending your iPhone in those cases is near impossible, whereas in bending this iPhone in this aluminum bumper is very, very easy. So I would personally want to stick it in one of those pure aluminum bumpers rather than this one, but that's really up to you. In terms of accessing your iPhone, I generally hold these minimalistic cases to a higher standard and because of that, accessing your iPhone inside this case is pretty subpar. The buttons don't have the same click as a naked, naked iPhone and the cutouts for the headphone jacks and lightning ports really don't allow you to use any other third party accessories. Even my belay cord, which is the closest that I've got to a regular Apple cable, is just a little too tough to use with this case. The edges are almost too low for my liking, but I didn't ding the case for it because they are high enough to keep the camera lens off of flat surface which is something I can't say for the other cases. So that's all I got for the CVO Tetra. Just as a side question, what was the first thing that came to your mind when I said the word Tetra? First thing that came to my mind, the only word that came to my mind was Tetra Packs. You know, those packs that all your juice comes in. So I don't actually know when else I would actually use the word Tetra. Um, if you've got any questions for me, leave them in the comments section below. This was a case on our ranker list. That is why I'm doing the review for it, because you guys ranked it all the way up to the top. So um, I'm Aaron the Hope. Find me on Google Plus Twitter as well as Facebook. And yes, that's Monty sitting on a chair. Isn't he awesome? I'm Aaron the Ho. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I'd be more than, well, I'll try to answer them. I haven't been great lately. It's been busy and I'm lazy. Also, Monty's sitting in a chair. Isn't he the greatest dog ever? Like greatest, like he's real. This is a real dog. This isn't a prop or anything. Like it's pretty awesome. All right, thanks for watching.